Thor News presents Three Planets in the Habitable Zone Habitable Zone of a nearby star. That's right. They have re-examined Khalees. I guess it's like Khaleesi. 667C. Well, that's just one up from 666. Where does that number sound familiar from? Oh my god, it's evil. Whew. That planet store came close to being evil. I'm glad it's not evil. All right, so what we've heard, this is the part where I read a little. A team of astronomers has combined new observations of Gliese 667C with existing data from HARP at ESO's 3.6 meter telescope in Chile to reveal a system with at least six planets. A record-breaking three of these planets are super-Earths, lying in the zone around the star where liquid water could exist, making them possible candidates for the presence of life. This is the first system found with a fully-packed habitable zone. Oh my god, that is exciting. You see, Gliese 667c is a very well-studied star. Just over one-third of the mass of the sun, it is part of a triple star system known as the Gliese 667, 22 light years away in the constellation of Scorpius. The Scorpion, this is quite close to us. Within the sun's neighborhood, or as I like to call it, local star field, and much closer than the star systems investigated using telescopes such as planet hunting Kepler space telescope. Whoa, did they just bitch slap the Kepler? Uh, didn't the Kepler break? Anyway, this is great news, people, because this means my chances of finding a girlfriend just went way up. I mean, she probably lives on another planet, and if I can get to that other planet, I bet I have superpowers like Superman. That would be freaking wicked. If I can fly and I'm bulletproof and stuff, there's no way I can't get a girlfriend. Did I say double negative? That's probably what happened. Is girls do not like double negative. Um, ain't no way that not right. Crap. We we knew that the star had three planets from previous studies, so we wanted to see whether there would be any more, says Tuami. By finding some new star observations and revisiting existing data, we were able to confirm these three and confidently reveal several more. Finding three low-mass planets and the star's habitable zone is very exciting. Oh, dude, I would totally concur with Mr. Tsunami. Concur. Man, three of these planets are confirmed to be super-Earths. Planets more massive than Earth, but less massive than planets like Uranus or Neptune. Oh, Rory Barnes says something. Let's see what he says. The number of potentially habitable planets in our galaxy is much greater if we can expect to find several of them around each low-mass star. Instead of looking at ten stars to look for a single potentially habitable planet, we now know we can look at just one star and find several of them. Says Rory Barnes from the University of Washington. I'm pretty sure that's what he sounds like because I've seen a documentary on Washington and they all sound like that. Because what you gotta see is that complex systems around star-like stars have been found to be abundant in the Milky Way. Yeah, no, no crap, man. All right, if the universe is almost infinite, there's almost an infinite amount of stars, that means there's always an infinite chance that there's life on other planets. And I don't think life on other planets in the solar system has to be exactly like Earth. Uh, I'm sure the suns and planets can kick out many versions, many variables of what we consider life, right? Okay, but either way, these are basically saying these are in the habitable zones of what we know that life is created under. So that's pretty excited. I mean, we are now one step closer to Thor News having a girlfriend. And, and that means my shows will probably go down a bit because girls don't like my channel. What the hell, man? Okay, I'm talking way too long. Okay, so yeah, planets are cool, man. Found some new planets. Pretty soon, uh, pretty soon I'm sure they'll announce that we found life or whatever because um, shit's falling apart economically. All right, good times, party people. Uh, Gleesey. All right, this is a sidebar Game of Thrones question. If you had to marry Arya or Daenerys, assuming they're both 21, who would you pick? All right, later.